Have you ever wondered to yourself how two people can start the same career or business, yet one person succeeds and goes from success to success, and the other person works himself literally into the ground and has little to no success? As hard as this may sound, the missing link often gratitude. According to the law of attraction, you have to be grateful for what you have to attract success to yourself. Without gratitude, permanent success is impossible. Welcome to day six of the Magic Gratitude Challenge. My name is Sensei and I am a transformational coach. I am passionate about helping people transcend their past into purposeful and joy-filled living. Today's challenge is on miracle work. To have success or increase in your work or job, like having new opportunities, promotion, more money, brilliant ideas, is essential to be grateful for what you do. The more grateful you are for what you do have, the more you will have to be grateful for. I once read a quote, which is paraphrased from a scripture in the Bible, and it reads, Whoever has gratitude for their work will be given more and he or she will have in abundance. Whoever does not have gratitude for their work, even what he has will be taken from him. When you are grateful for your business or job, you will give more. And when you give more, you will receive more success and money returned to you. But if you are not grateful for your job or business, you tend to give less. And when you give less, you decrease what comes back to you. And you will not be happy. Remember, for those who are not grateful, even what they have will be taken from them. The amount you give in gratitude is the amount you receive in return. You control how much you receive by your level of gratitude. If you're a business owner, your business value will increase or decrease based on your gratitude. The more grateful you are for your business, your customers, your employees, the more your business will grow or increase. When a business owner stops being grateful and start to worry and stay anxious, their business just starts to spiral downward. Be grateful for whatever you do at work. Even if you are a parent, find little moments to be grateful. When you do that, you will attract more support, more help, and create beautiful, lasting memories. Be excited about your job or business, whatever you do. If that's not your dream job, guess what? The only way to receive your dream job is to be grateful for the job you currently have because the only way to get there is from here. So today, the practice is one. Imagine you have an invisible manager whose job is to track your thoughts and feelings about your job or business today. Imagine them going with you to every meeting while you're writing that email, while you're sitting in the office, while you're on that Zoom meeting. Every time you find something to be grateful for about your job, they make a note of it. Guess what? Your job today is to find as many things as possible to be grateful for so that their list can get longer. The longer the list, the more magic your invisible manager can bring to your money, success, and fulfillment. So, think about all the things that you could be grateful for about your job. For one, you have a job and there's so many others who do not have, who are still in the job market, praying to have the job that you currently have. You have a computer that saves you time. You have a phone that you can have meetings on the go. You can write emails. You have printers that make your work easy. You have the internet. 
Think about all these things and be grateful for them. You work with amazing people. You probably have an assistant or you have janitors, people who come clean up your office so you don't have to worry about that part of it. And if nothing else, think of how good it feels to receive a paycheck and think about the fact of how your life could change if you weren't getting that paycheck. Now, your job is to give your invisible manager something to work with by saying, I am grateful for, and then you say whatever thing that you're grateful for. The more deeply you feel this gratitude, the faster your manager can start to make the magic happen for you. It's possible that you just generating this amazing magic of gratitude, circumstances can instantly improve. Lucky breaks don't just happen by accident. It is the miraculous power of gratitude at work. If this miraculous business or work practice falls on a weekend or a day that you are not at work, move on to the next day's practice and come back on the first day of work to do this practice. Now, a quick recap of the practice for today. The practice for today is miracle work or business. One, repeat the count your blessing practice from day one. Make a list of 10 things that you are grateful for and write why you're grateful for these things. And at the end of each blessing, say thank you, thank you, thank you. Two, at work today, imagine you have an invisible manager following you and taking notes of how much gratitude you have for your work. Your job is to look for as many things as possible to be grateful for about what you do. Three, have your manager take notes each time you find something to be grateful for by saying, I am grateful for, and insert whatever it is you're grateful for about your job and feel as grateful as you can. And number four, before going to sleep tonight, hold your gratitude rock in your hand. Think of the best thing that happened to you today and say, thank you. If this practice has been helpful for you, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know how has this challenge been going for you so far? Are you just joining us or have you been on with us from day one? If you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to this channel and share this content with anyone who you know can use the magic power of gratitude. Till we see again, same time, same place tomorrow for day seven of the Magic Gratitude Challenge. It is goodbye and God bless.